चेक वेदर द फॉलोइंग पेर ऑफ इक्वेशन आर कंसिस्टेंट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई इज इक्व टू टू एंड सिक्स एक्स प्लस सिक्स एट वाई इज इक्व टू फोर वेरीफाई बाय ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो फर्स्ट लेट अस कंपेयर द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर वाई माइनस टू इज इक्व टू जीरो विद ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इज इक्व टू जीरो सो वी विल गेट ए वन इज इक्व टू थ्री बी वन इज इक्व टू फोर एंड सी वन इज इक्व टू माइनस टू एंड कंपेरिंग द सेकेंड इक्वेशन सिक्स एक्स प्लस एट वाई माइनस फोर इज इक्व टू जीरो विद ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इज इक्व टू जीरो विल गेट ए टू इज इक्व टू सिक्स बी टू इज इक्व टू एट एंड सी टू इज इक्व टू माइनस फोर नाउ टेकिंग द रेशियोज ऑफ कोफिशियंट्स ऑफ एक्स टर्म्स विच इज ए वन बाय ए टू दैट इज थ्री बाय सिक्स सो थ्री वन टाइम्स थ्री टू टाइम्स सो ए वन बाय ए टू इज इक्व टू वन बाय टू एंड बी वन बाय बी टू इज इक्व टू फोर बाय एट फोर वन टाइम्स एंड फोर टू टाइम्स दैट इज ऑल्सो वन बाय टू And c1 by c2 is equals to minus 2 by minus 4. Minus and minus will get cancelled. And 2 one times 2 two times. That is also 1 by 2. Therefore, a1 by a2 is equals to b1 by b2 is equals to c1 by c2. Therefore, they are coincident lines. So the pair of <coughs> linear equations are consistent and dependent and have infinitely many solutions. So if you observe, the two lines are same. So <coughs> the two lines are same and hence. they meet at infinitely many points if you take two common in the second equation 6x plus 8y minus 4 is equals to 0 that will be two times of 3x plus 4y minus 2 is equals to 0 therefore these two lines are same and they they are called coincident lines and they will have infinitely many solutions let us see by graphical representation Taking the first equation, 3x plus 4y is equals to 2. Making y as subject of the formula, that will be y is equals to 2y 2 minus 3x by 4. When x is equals to 0, y is equals to 2 minus 3 times of 0 by 4, which is 1 by 2. So the point will be 0 comma 1 by 2. When x is equals to 2, y is equals to 2 minus of 3 times of 2 by 4. So 2 minus of 3 times of 2 is 6. 2 minus 6 is minus 4 by 4 minus 1. So the point will be 2 comma minus 1. And taking x is equals to 4, y is equals to 2 minus of 3 times of 4 by 4, which is minus 2.5. So the point will be 4 comma minus 2.5. And when x is equals to 6, y is equals to 2, <clears throat> 2 minus 3 times of 6 by 4, which is minus 4. So the point will be 6 comma minus 4. And the graph will look something like this. For this line, for the second line, which is 6x plus 8y is equals to 4, <coughs> taking y as subject of the formula, y is equals to 4 minus 6x by 8. So x is equals to 0, then y is equals to 4 minus 6 times 6 times of 0 by 8, which is 4 minus 0 by 8, 1 by 2. So the point will be 0 comma 1 by 2. When x is equals to 2, y is equals to 4 minus 6 times 6 times of 2. Four minus twelve is minus eight by eight, so it will be one. The point is two comma minus one. When y is x is equals to four, y is equals to four minus six times of four by eight, that is equals to minus two point five. So four comma minus two point five. When x is equals to six, y is equals to four minus six times of six by eight, is equals to minus four. So the point is six comma minus four. The graph is. Looking like this. Now the com combining graph is same as of the second line. Actually, this graph has two lines: first line and second line. Since these two are coincident lines, one line upon the other line. Therefore, it will have infinitely many solutions.